pads. I have two 780 Ti's in here, as you can see. And as you can see, I hope you uh, can see there, read that. Let's zoom out, and the monitor is. I'll see if I can zoom in. Yes. Oops. HB280HK. And she is. Yahoo! Oh, sorry. I'm not sure if you can see that now. The, ca the autofocus on this camera is chronic. Sorry. And here you go. Do, 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 do. So, I'll just zoom out so you get a feel for you of it. It is an Acer 4K monitor. This is horrendously expensive. Uh, this is if you're into first person shooters absolutely useless useless for gaming I know it's got G-Sync and all that goodness in it but basically I have two 780 Ti's in it and they're basically not enough not enough to drive it so word of warning do not repeat do not if you're into first person shooters do not get a 4k monitor okay not at the moment, not unless you have two tight nexus. Because it's ridiculously slow. I've tried dying light on it. It looks fantastic, absolutely beautiful. But it just runs like poop, really. I, I've been experimenting dialing the settings down and didn't get much chance to do it, but they have to be dialed way down. Having said that, it plays games like Homeworld. Uh, city skylines, all that type of game, beautifully. Uh, tried a Tilla, what total war Tilla on us on the benchmark, and it was so slow, it's unbelievable. Now everything was maxed out, of course. Uh, it plays Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, reasonably good, pretty good, and everything maxed out. So basically, every any heavy duty game. Far Cry 4, the likes, you're just not going to run it smoothly. So basically, you, if you buy this monitor, you either have to be running Titan Axis, maybe two 980s, but apart from that, I just wouldn't bother, at the moment, buying it. Having said that, this monitor is equipped with G-Sync, which is supposed to uh, smooth out the frame rates and stuff like that, but basically I haven't really observed any major benefit in it as yet. So, there you go. The build quality is okay. It's a pretty nice monitor. The plenty of swivel on the stand and stuff like that. But basically, uh, I've seen better built monitors. So that is my new 4K monitor. Uh, I'll just word a warning. It, I would stress again. Play 1440. Get a 1440 monitor at the moment because it is ridiculously s slow on gaming absolutely and I'm running this in two 780 Ti's and it's not enough okay thanks for watching uh, sorry it's a bit of an odd video this monitor is excellent monitor but not for first person shooters not at the moment not unless you have the graphics horsepower to drive it as I said dying, dying light is just a slideshow on this it's just with that's for 270 Ti's. So I haven't actually tried lowered everything in. Uh, I, have, I haven't really adjusted the dying light settings too low, but you know, if you like your good quality looking games, you you have to go 1440 at the moment still. <laughs>
That's the maximum. Snow detail is high and physics is high. So we just accept that. Okay. Let's go to the menu again. Options. Graphics and um, farm test. Just loading in now, guys. You don't see many people running this benchmark, so it should be interesting. Let's run on 8 core AMD, two 780 Ti's, maxed out. That's it, let's see. Minimum 22, maximum 55, average frames per second 31. Better than I thought. Okay, let's stick up another benchmark this time. Let us, let's have a uh, Total Warfare Attila. Hi guys, I'll just show you the resolution. As you can hopefully see, and I'm not sure if you can, I'll just try and zoom in. Sorry. Alright, we're on UHD 3840 by 2160. Let's chase, check the custom settings for the mouse mount. Everything is maxed out, anti-lasing is off. And let's run the benchmark. This takes a little bit of time to kick off, so bear with us for a couple of seconds. At this resolution, uh, the NVIDIA is screen recorder built into the driver is absolutely very stuffy. So that's why I'm just doing a straight video shot of the uh, screen. Let's see if I can straighten this camera up a little bit. As I said, it takes a little bit to start up. Uh, I assume there's a lot of detail in it, I can imagine. So bear with me. Uh, 
Okay, it's hitting with 24, 25 frames per second. 22, 22. It is very sputtery, even with G-Sync on. But that's, that's a maxed out. Apart from the anti-lazing, which is all. So we're up to 24, 23, 22. That part looks fairly smooth. So there we have it. Okay, that's the last of the benchmarks. Hope it gives you an idea of uh, UHD and how uh, basically it's not. Well, if you have the settings maxed out, it's basically unplayable on UHD. And most gaming nuts will want their system maxed out. And currently, you can't do this on UHD. Not with the current crop of video cards, so that's why I say it'll be another year or so before uh, any video cards with enough horsepower come out to drive these monitors. But anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. Interested in your comments as always. Bye bye.